Very good evening and thank you for joining me. Uh, I'm Fede Souza. Taking a look at the updates that are coming out of Kolkata and the rest of West Bengal. So this is a special report on what's happening in Kolkata and West Bengal. Now you know that there has been a cyclone that has uh, made landfall uh, slightly east of, of the city of Kolkata and yesterday, uh, all through last night, there was very, very heavy rain. To give you a perspective of the kind of intensity we're talking about, this is the worst cyclone India has seen in 30 years. We haven't seen a cyclone of this uh, magnitude or this intensity since 1991. And this is a cyclone that, that made landfall really close to the city of Kolkata. So we were getting reports last night of really heavy winds, uh, really heavy rain and um, high wind speeds. It ripped trees massive trees right out of their roots it brought down electricity wires and poles it's brought down cables from all over the city so people in Kolkata a lot of them still don't have their electricity back um, several homes uh, had water entering their homes and unfortunately um, 72 people have lost their lives across the state of West Bengal 17 of those 72 that we know of are in the city were in the city of Kolkata and this is an official report that's come from the Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee. Um, there have been several teams of the NDRF on the ground. Remember, the warning for this cyclone came about 48 hours ago, so to, uh, more than two or three days ago. It was initially meant to, uh, it, it was predicted to impact both Orissa and West Bengal, but from what we understand, it stayed about 80 to 90 kilometers away from the coast of Orissa. So while areas like Puri received very heavy rainfall in Orissa, it didn't actually bear the full brunt of the storm. The brunt of the storm was reserved for West Bengal. We understand from the chief minister's office that uh, Mamta Banerjee has set aside a thousand crore rupees for rehabilitation because while, you know, people have lost their homes and given the fact that we're in the middle of a pandemic, it's a terrible time for people to have lost their homes because even when they move to shelters, there'll be, there'll be a need for a certain amount of social distancing as well. Widespread destruction in several districts of West Bengal. East um, uh, Mindapur, for example, is, um, has been hit very badly. The city of Kolkata has been hit very badly. We've had reports of uh, flooding that has now receded. The good news that is coming right now from, um, you know, from those, um, you know, in, in, in uh, the weather reports is that the rain is over, the worst is behind us, while the storm has moved northeast towards Assam and Meghalaya. It's just heavy rain at this point and it's not accompanied by wind speeds and so there's, not, there's no real, you know, threat for people in Assam or Meghalaya. It's just rain that they're going to have to deal with. But for those in Bengal, uh, we're hoping that the worst is behind them, but we're also going to be looking at rescue and rehabilitation right now as the water levels begin to recede. Um, a lot of people have lost their homes, like I said, and they've lost all their belongings. Uh, we've seen this happen before. When this sort of rain takes place, um, people, don't, I mean, people are evacuated from their homes, but when they go back, there's very little left. All of their belongings have simply been washed away. Or ruined there's nothing to eat there's nothing to wear there's nothing to sit on there's nothing to sleep on so now we will need of course uh, rehabilitation and rescue and uh, fundraising that needs to happen for West Bengal uh, a lot of people also have not been able to reach their family members in West Bengal and uh, they're very concerned about that just one second I'm going to try um, and bring in someone who can give us some information about this as well. Let me see. Uh, we'll try and bring in some more people who can give us some information about this. Now, for those of you who have not been able to, re to reach your family members who are in Kolkata and other parts of Bengal hang in there, uh, we understand that the NDRF and the government are trying to get communications back up as quickly as possible and get electricity back up as quickly as possible. The internet seems to be down, phone lines are down as well. Uh, let me try and see if we can get someone to give us some information about this. So I'm trying to get somebody to join me from the state government. 
uh, who will be able to give us some information on where everything is and uh, let me in the meantime uh, give you some of the information that's come in uh, in Kolkata obviously there's been no electricity for the last one day like I said all lines have been snapped mobile networks are patchy and they feel a little cut off I also understand that a lot of people are feeling cut off about the fact that uh, while they know um, things have happened you know the, 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 that family in Kolkata has had a very bad day there hasn't been too much coverage of this on national media and that seems to be you know upsetting a lot of people as well and that's a, a very unfortunate thing um, we saw some visuals come in of uh, transformers sort of going up because of water uh, so it does seem that it's uh, it's going to be a while before we um, you know we get those get that electricity back up again let me see and just hang in there I'm just connecting to my guest all right Member of Parliament, Derek O'Brien, joins me right now. Good evening, Mr. O'Brien, and thank you for joining me. Um, I do know, of course, that you're also very concerned about what's happening in, in your hometown, Kolkata. I understand you are in Delhi right now. Is there any information you can give us? Because we have a lot of young people whose family members are back home in Kolkata. Parents are in Kolkata. Um, could you tell us what's happening on the ground right now, if you have information from your team? Yes. Uh, but let me clarify, I'm not a spokesperson of the West Bengal government. Okay. That's that's something else. I'm from the All India Trinamool Congress. Yeah, I'm speaking on behalf. Yeah. So firstly, Faye, uh, thank you for uh, taking me on here because I can tell you uh, what's happening on the ground. Well, uh, it's bad. It's very, there's, let me not, you know, decorate this. This is very, very bad. The only good news people were evacuated over the last three days. So that's the good news. The capacity was somewhere around six lakh to evacuate, but we managed to evacuate five lakh people. So every death is sad, but the death figure is comparatively lower. It's not in the, it's not in the thousands. So far it's in double digits. So that worked out well, but it's very, very bad. And for those of you with families in Bengal, uh, the worst hit are just north of Calcutta, which is a district called North Chobish Porgana, which is a big district and south of Kolkata, which is South Chobish Parguna and Calcutta itself. So these are the three main districts. But actually, this has affected about 65%, 70% of the entire state has been affected uh, with this. This has battered Bengal. So while preparatory arrangements and evacuations of those five black people, the, the, the loss of life was minimized, but the devastation public property, private property, trees, ecology of Bengal is incalculable. It is a national calamity. Now, in this hour of pain and tragedy, my only request is Bengal seeks everyone's cooperation. Doesn't matter where you're living. Doesn't matter what politics you do, because everybody needs to cooperate. All stakeholders, state government, central government need to come together. Now, for those of you who are watching this and are living around Calcutta, firstly, uh, electricity is being restored in many of the places in the city. Now, let me explain to you. Some of you who have seen those trees which have fallen, we're estimating 40-50% of trees have fallen. First, the trees are being clear, uh, cleared of the main road. So if you're not on the main road, give it a day or two. All right. Uh, then, we're getting out tarpaulin sheets. This is not so much in Calcutta, but even in Calcutta, because the, the, you know so many people's homes have just like flown literally the roofs have flown away. So tarpaulin sheets, we're getting out. We're getting out those water packets because drinking water is going to become, that's what we were prepared for, tarpaulin sheets. We had about a million tarpaulin sheets. And the other thing, which is for children, medicine supplies, especially anti-diarrhea and anti-venom because this is snake season, not in Calcutta, but you know, especially in the district. So that, that we were prepared for. And of course, relief center, centers, we're not in a hurry. Uh, to send people back to their houses because damaged house sometimes can also collapse. So these are the kind of measures. Tomorrow the Prime Minister is, uh, is going to Bengal. Uh, the Chief Minister of Bengal has already made, uh, you know, she was there, as you would have seen those pictures at the emergency room uh, fame uh, yes. last night and the night before. But uh, it's grim. 
Uh, if I may quickly ask you a question, you did say, of course, five lakh people have been evacuated and they're currently in shelters. Um, is maintaining social distancing because of COVID in those shelters also something that uh, you know the government is being mindful of at this point? I think you know uh, you're absolutely right because, in fact, maybe we could have had more people into those shelters. But when people were being offered the shelter, now think about it. They're they, they hearing about this big storm. You know, there have been cases before where the storm has supposed to be very, very big. But the last biggest, the biggest storm ever in Bengal was in 1737, some 270 years ago. So people may have not moved out of their homes. And that's why maybe, you know, maybe the deaths would have been uh, a little lower. But also there have been some very careless, and I feel sad about this because there have been some really care, if I may call them, Careless deaths. Two guys on Howrah on a motorbike. I mean, come on. You know, so there's been a, a couple of cases like this. I would say 50% of the deaths have been careless, which could have easily have been avoided. You can't, you can't help it if you're in a home and suddenly there's a, there's a power outage, you know, there's a, there's a short circuit in you and you, you know, you're gone. But uh, that is it. But I think uh, Mamta Di's tweet today summed it up very well, Faye, that, you know, yes, this is tough, but we need to get, get going together. And I'm really happy that there are platforms like yours, which I call the new platforms, which at 9 o'clock, 9.30 in the night, uh, in the evening, are doing programs on this. And I'm really, may I, may I say this on your platform, I know it's got nothing to do with the cyclone, but I'm, not me, but I'm seeing the kind of stuff on Twitter and Facebook and very, people are very, very upset, which is what is happening on television, except for one and a half or two channels. Everyone's discussing. This is, this is a major crisis. We're talking about, Mamtadi has said, the chief minister has said, you know, we can't estimate it as yet. But a guesstimate, even if you take a guesstimate, because we've had cyclones before, we've had Bulbul, we've had Ayla. These have been, you know, 30, 40,000 houses. This is like very, very big. This could be up to 1.5 billion US dollars. Now, I don't want to shoot my mouth off because they're still, as I said, so the ministerial teams have been sent out to the districts. The bureaucrats have gone to the districts. But my one request to everyone with, with elders there, with parents, you know, in Calcutta or friends, parents in Calcutta, please stay at home. Electricity, electricity reply, uh, uh, supply was actually in some places deliberately cut for safety reasons. So I think that's the way to be. And I think this is the time. You spend a little less time on Twitter and Facebook or you could. But do something. You know, even if it's tarpaulin sheets or... Hmm. So, so you, you, let me ask you this. Is the Chief Minister's Relief Fund, has it been activated for the cyclone right now? Minister, and... Chief Minister's uh, Relief Fund has already been there since you asked me about the fund. The state government has set up a fund of already today. Set up a fund of 1,000 crore fund. And there's also one of the big... Uh, indoor stadiums called the Kudiram Stadium in Calcutta, which is next to the Eden Gardens. Now that has been opened up so people can send in clothes and tarpaulin, etc., etc. So we are still at the, at the uh, assessment of the damage. Obviously, our first priority is rescue because there may be people who seriously need to be rescued. Then we get to the relief uh, and then we get to the rehab. But in all this, there's a fourth R, which is reassurance. And we, we, we'll get through this together. Uh, do you expect this uh, number of fatalities at 72 to increase over the next couple of days as people go into the districts and the villages? Well, fingers crossed. I hope it just remains at uh, 73 actually is now the number because including a child at 73. Yeah, but I, I still would say, I mean, as I said, every death is a tragedy because there's one grieving family for every death. So whether it's 72 or whether it's five. But I think because people were a little scared, now Sundarbans, for example, the Sundarbans, uh, again, early reports, houses have been severely damaged because, you know, if you look at the pictures coming out of Calcutta, if you look at those pictures, you know, look at the damage happened there in, in the heart of the city. I'm talking about Park Street, Queens Park, Southern Avenue, Mayfair. These are like heart of the city, you know, upmarket. There, if... The trees, you know, everyone was like, you know, so I think in the next three or four days, we will get a fair idea. But that this is a calamity, that this is a catastrophe. You can use whatever word you want. But in this, we need to be positive. And I just hope and pray 
that for COVID, there was a lot of politics which the center were imposing on us and we had to uh, contend with. Now, I just appeal, mm. leave the politics out, please. Leave the politics, keep the politics for winter. Now, let's give relief and rehab. Thank you, Faye. Thank you so much for having me on your you. Instagram. And may I take this opportunity to wish you all the best in whatever you do. Thank you, Mr. O'Brien. Thank you for joining us. Derek O'Brien there, uh, spokesperson for the All India Trinamool Congress, joining us uh, out of his home in Delhi. Uh, just to give you a quick uh, update of everything he did say, he said that if you have family in Kolkata, um, you know, tell them to, to wait for the government to get there. He, uh, he basically said that there were five lakh people who were, uh, you know, a, evacuated but there has been widespread devastation and the uh, government is still trying to get a handle on the devastation right now across the country um, we talk he said electricity is being restored for the main roads first and then the by lanes so wait until that has happened they are now distributing drinking water and medicine but they will need a lot of relief material in uh, the state and of course i'm assuming that information is going to come out over the next couple of days. Normally from experience, we know that in cases like this, the kind of relief material you need is blankets, dry clothes, sanitary napkins, dry food, um, medication, um, you know, diapers, night clothes, and underwear and footwear for people who are in relief zones. So we bring you, and I will bring you more information from Kolkata and from the neighboring districts as soon as I can. Um, and uh, we'll try and uh, bring you updates as soon as we can, but for now, this is what we have at this point. Um, if you have family in Kolkata, hopefully they are safe because the rain has stopped and electricity will be restored fairly quickly. Hopefully everyone is safe. Um, thank you for watching. Of course, uh, our hearts and our prayers going out to the people in West Bengal at this point who have faced uh, what is now being called the worst storm that India has seen in 30 years. Thanks for watching.